Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look like a boy. I have hair, trust me. Um, I wanted to come on and make a really quick video because it's been a while since I made a video. And I am getting over a really bad cold or maybe it was the flu, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't think it was COVID. I, I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I had COVID last year and it was terrible. Um, and this wasn't that bad. It still was not fun. Um, I'm actually, I'm supposed to be in Leavenworth, Washington right now with my aunt and cousin. Um, and it is beautiful. It is covered in snow right now. It looks like a freaking Hallmark movie. And that's where I'm supposed to be right this very moment. But I got sick and <clears throat> I got sick a, a week exactly before I was supposed to go. And I was thinking, I'll be fine. I'll be feeling well enough to travel. <sighs> I'm in trouble reading. Um, I'll be well enough to travel, like, when it's, by the time it's time to go. But it was like, I started to feel better <clears throat> a few days before. And then the, the coughing and, like, the chest congestion came on just, like, out of nowhere. And I was, I just, I was too weak and all of the coughing and crud. I was like, I can't travel like this. I, for one, I might be contagious. You know, I wasn't sure if I would be contagious, but I did not want to take a chance of being contagious and going on two different airplanes to get there and possibly getting people sick. I just kind of felt like that would be really selfish. So I didn't get to go and I'm really bummed out about it, but I, I always say and believe that everything happens for a reason. So there's a reason I didn't make it. Um, I'm just glad my aunt got to go. Um, she lives like two and a half hours south of me and um, she got, my cousin lives up in Spokane. So her son, and so she and I were flying up there I'm <clears throat> gonna fly up there to hang out with him and go to Leavenworth and oh well it really stinks but it didn't work out for me but um like I'm still getting over it like I'm as you can probably tell I'm kind of having trouble breathing and um the coughing I still have the coughing but I don't have any chest congestion it's just a cough like it feels like I need to cough something up but nothing happens um so yeah, that really stinks. But I'm super glad that they are there right now and enjoying it. It's amazing. The Airbnb they got, um, it's like, I don't know if it's necessarily up in the mountains, but it's covered in snow right now. And my aunt posted a picture on her Instagram this morning. And there's, I mean, it's gotta be like four or five inches of snow on the little rooftop that like she's sleeping upstairs in this cute cabin and like out the window you can see like a oh she just messaged me um you can see the snow like built up on the little roof I think it's called an eve and you can see it but um it's uh, you know it is what it is um I'm just rebounding from this horrible cold um and just trying like i'm out here walking this is the first time i've been outside like walking um in over a week it's today is saturday and i got i came down with this wednesday night two wednesdays ago and um it's just bad um but yeah i just wanted to make a video because it's been a minute um finally gonna be closing on the property that my boyfriend bought, we are closing on uh, the 15th. We were supposed to close November 4th and we're about to close on December 15th, but it was um, pr a probate thing. So we knew going into it, most likely it'd be getting pushed back and kind of having different things. So I'm just glad that we finally are getting to close on it and I'm finally gonna get paid. And um, other than that, probably nothing happening 
I mean, no closings for sure before the end of the year. I mean, it's the 10th, but I don't think, um, I have a client, we're gonna, we were trying to go look at houses right before Thanksgiving. It just didn't work out. And then um, we're just gonna wait till after the new year to continue that search. We're looking at several different types of properties for her. One is for her dad um, and mom. We're looking for a house for them. And then we're also looking for some investment properties for her and her family. They do rentals and things like that. So that's pretty awesome that um, not only is it she a client, but she's, a, I consider her an acquaintance that's like, you know, a friend as well. So it's cool that we're gonna get to work together. Um, what else? You know, getting sick really threw me for a loop when it came to work stuff and it just kind of brought up some, like just some self doubt and kind of feeling like I haven't been working hard enough. Um, you know, just stuff like that, kind of feeling like I need to be stressed more, but I'm actually stressed. And it's just one of those things, like it's a mind game. I'm kind of, you know, giving myself a mind F because I haven't had a closing since May. The end of May was my last closing. And so it's just kind of messing with me, but um, I've got to not allow that to happen because I'm actually doing really good. Um, eBay's going great. And I just, I've, I've got to, you know, over the past few years, I've really learned a lot about trusting and not pushing stuff. And like, it's okay to not be stressed and anxious. What's supposed to happen will happen if you allow the universe to work if you just trust it and let go everything falls into place and i think the past like three-ish four-ish months i've allowed myself to to start trying to be in control and it's effed me up like mentally um because i'm not in control and i don't have to be in control i literally can just surrender control to the universe to God and when I do that it's just everything falls into place and then when I try to start taking the reins and forcing stuff stuff starts to not work out so it's like okay what's the lesson there the lesson is let go of the reins and just trust that everything that you're taking care of like the finances are going to be fine. Um, that's been my biggest thing because, you know, I made quite a good amount of money at the beginning of the year. And then after that, oh, my bird's bees. Um, after that last closing on May 27th, I haven't had another closing. And I went, uh, I'm not going to be mad at myself because I was excited. I didn't buy any like big ticket things but i started like giving a lot of money away and buying a lot of stuff like little things you know for family and just kind of spending a little bit willy-nilly instead of uh being responsible with the finances given to me entrusted to me and um because i did that i I'm stressing about finances now. And the thing is, I'm fine. Like, I used to, back in the day, like, I was, you know, overdrafting all the time um, back in the day. And I don't know the last time I've overdrafted. But for some reason, even though I've got a fine amount of money in my bank, I'm, it's like I'm more stressed about finances than I was back then when I had, like, negative $70 in my bank account. You know, it's so weird. Um, I don't know. It's so weird that, I don't know, just strange. But, um, everything's good. I mean, everything is fantastic. Um, I am just having to work through this mental stuff 
when it comes to finances and like trusting trusting the universe and um like i always say this is basically just a diary for me um i i hope that maybe when i make you know these videos that maybe it speaks to someone and encourages them or maybe they just enjoy hearing my voice or a voice <laughs> Cause that's kind of how I am. Like, um, I just will put videos on like while I'm working, <sighs> doing eBay stuff, just to have a voice in the background and listening to other people's thoughts. So if I can be that for someone else, that's cool. Um, but mainly this is just for me to kind of talk stuff out, um, with myself basically. And, um, maybe work it out in my brain because I can't figure out, I can't figure out, like, what's kind of going on spiritually for me right now. I don't know. Um, I say that I trust and that I know that I'm taken care of, but then I, I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm stressing about finances. And there's a lesson to be learned here, but I don't really know what it is yet. Um... I'm dealing with just that major self-doubt again of being just that self-talk of like, you're lazy, you don't want to work, um, you're not good enough, you don't know enough, you know, when it comes to real estate, because I'm still so new. Um, but sorry, I'm kind of sweaty because it's December 10th, but it's like 78 degrees and it's like humid AF here, and it's not usually humid up in near Dallas where I live. But, yeah. Just dealing with a lot of, like, negative self-talk and self-doubt and imposter syndrome. But, you know, I think that's probably normal. I, it's probably going to be something I deal with my whole life. I hope not. I hope that maybe I finally grow out of it. But, um... Yeah, I just wanted to make a video because it's been a while and kind of talk this out and put it out there like I've been thinking about it and everything that I've been dealing with, but I haven't like put it out into the ether, you know, and a lot of times when I do that, it kind of starts to work itself out. So I just wanted to do that and I hope that y'all are having a good December so far. Before I got sick, I did get to put up, um, we put up our tree and I got to put up some decorations. And today, um, if my garland is nice enough, cause it's been like crumpled up in a box. Um, if it's nice enough, I'm gonna decorate our gate into the property with the garland and yeah, look at how pretty. It's so green and that's a little, this is the creek bed. There's a bunch of wood in it right now because we got a lot of rain and we had set up little uh, walkways with wood across the the creek and they got washed away <laughs> when the water came through. But okay, that's it. This has been too long, um, but I will talk to y'all later. And I've gotten a few new subscribers, so I don't know who you are, but hello if you watch this. Um, I love it's all, always great to get new subscribers and meet new people. So say hello in the comments and like the video. <laughs> it's free. Okay, I'll see you later.